Welcome to the Oslo region, an area filled with cultural highlights, urban joys and a friendly nature. Here the distances between places of interest are short, but there is still plenty of space for everyone. The booming food scene in our region is the result of a rare closeness between urban life and nature. Today's culinary journey will start at the beautiful Sixta farm on the western shore of Lake Mjösa. And it'll be seasoned not only with spices and herbs, but also with world-renowned artists such as Edward Munch, Henrik Ibsen and Kirsten Flagstad. They all had strong ties to the Oslo region, and enthusiasts can both visit their homes and see the places that inspired the great works, like Edward Munch's iconic scream, Ibsen's brilliant satire Peer Gynt, and the magnificent international opera career of Madame Flagstaff. Our region is an ultimate starting point from which to delve into Norwegian history. Remnants from the Viking era, medieval pilgrim paths, 17th century fortified towns and unique open-air museums all invite you to experience bygone times with all your senses. Today we've brought together guests from all parts of the Oslo region here at Sigsta Farm. And together we will bring you samples of specialties from the whole area. We've asked our guests to bring with them three items each. Two physical objects, each with its own history, and a film. My name is Gottmar Rusta, and I will be your host, at least verbally, because the real host here at Sixta Farm is Julia. Hello, Julia. Hello. Thank you for having us. Yeah, you're welcome. You brought some items, didn't you? Yes. Today I brought a deed. Indeed. Yes, it's a uh, really old uh, deed made in uh, wheel skin. Wheel skin. It does look yeah. old, doesn't it? And this is a proof that my family goes way, way, way back on this farm. It's so from, how old is it? It's from 1345. Oh, that is a long time ago. Yes, it is. And uh, that's the proof that I am the 17th generation on Six Star Farm. 17th. Mm -hmm. Incredible. Yes. Thank you so much for having us. We're going to have a lot of guests. So, Maya, you represent the coastal area of the region and you brought oysters by the look of it. Oysters from the Oslo Fjord, mm. uh, Pacific oysters. And the fjord is full of them. So when we harvest them, we do the nature a favor. And they are delicious to eat. They really do look delicious. Mm. And they also represent the lively city life with uh, you know, the good food, the good drinks. Of course they do. So yes. it's a nice, warm symbol, symbol of our region. You're talking about, you're talking about good food. Maybe mm. that's why you bought the spatula as well. I think so. It's food with a scream. <laughs> food with a scream. Incredible. Uh, and this region is um, the good food and the art. And we also know that uh, Munch come from our region. And his mother was born in my region, in the coastal area. And on the other side of the Oslo Fjord, uh, he lived several places. So uh, the Oslo region is uh, marked with Munch's art. And he also loved food. He most certainly did. Mm. He made his kitchen gardens. So he did, mm. <laughs> certainly did. Um, you brought the film as well, have you? Of course. Mm -hmm. uh, it shows, of course, a trip out to the sea to harvest oysters. Uh, and it also shows the city life of the small town of Fredrikstad. Let's have a look at it. Let's. Hello, Monica. 
Hi. You represent Hamar and Elbrum, a part of our region that is full of forests and lakes, isn't it? Yes, it is. And what did you bring to show us? I brought you the king of the forest, mm. the elk. He lives in the forest and can weigh up to 800 kilo, actually. That is a big animal. It's a big animal, one of the biggest, not the biggest in the deer family. He lives in the forest and we also have this forest museum in Elvrum, where uh, a family of the elks uh, is welcoming you by the entrance. It is a fantastic mm. museum, isn't it? Yes, it is. But you've also brought a drawing. I what also is this? bought a drawing and this is the drawing of, can you guess? This is made from a boy at 11 years old and it's Edvard Munch. And he's a big artist, yes, worldwide. You can see that mm -hmm. again. Uh, I suppose the film you're going to show will tell us a little about Edvard Munch as well. Then. It will. And this drawing is, um, it looks like a graffiti in the, in the film, actually. Fantastic. Let's mm -hmm. have a look at it. Yes. You represent the Olympic part of our region, don't you? I do. I'm from the Lillehammer region and the Valley of Gibraltar, and we hosted the Winter Olympics in 1994. And this is a small miniature of the Olympic torch that was used during the Olympics. And it kind of shows uh, the history that are made within our region. And it's a summer region and a winter region. Mm -hmm. Beautiful region. It is. And a part of the history is food, isn't it? It is, and I brought the brown cheese. This is a Norwegian tradition, uh, a cheese that are on basically every breakfast table in Norway. And in 1867, this was uh, uh, made up in the mountain area surrounded in Lillehammer. And this is a cheese slicer that we use to get the uh, cheese on the bread and is also invented in Lillehammer. And it's delicious, isn't it? It is beautiful. This is how to use the cheese cutter. Fantastic, isn't it? Yep. Mm. Good taste, huh? Mm, I love it. <laughs> you also brought a film, didn't you? Yes, I brought a film and that shows the variety of traditions and histories of culture that we have in our region. I can't wait to see it. Good. <laughs> Hello, good night. You represent another part of our area, don't you? Yes, I represent the area around the lake of Mjosa, the largest lake in Norway. Okay, mm -hmm. and you brought? I brought some tasty, colorful vegetables because the soil in uh, the, the quality of the soil in this area is so good that you get these fresh, beautiful vegetables. Mm, they and look if, delicious, don't they? They do. 
And these vegetables you can get if you stop by one of the many farm shops along the country lanes in this area. But Heidi, you also brought another thing, didn't you? Yes, I did. I brought a bicycle bell, in of fact. Of all things. Yeah, of all things. It's an old one. Uh, because around the Lake of Mjösa, there's a bicycle route. 234 kilometers around the Lake of Mjösa. That is a long ride. It is. You have to make it all in one day. No, I recommend you to, to spend three days on this uh, bicycle ride. Sounds great. What can you see along the route? Oh, many highlights, but one of the highlights is Peder Bolke Centre. It's an art gallery, beautifully situated, uh, with a beautiful view over the Lake of Mjösa. Will you show us this in the film as well? Yes, you will see some pictures of the, 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 the gallery and, of course, the cultural landscape around the Lake of Mjösa. Incredible. Let's mm. have a look at it. Yes, enjoy. Thank you. We welcome you to this beautiful cultural landscape around Mjösa, Norway's largest lake, just over an hour north of Oslo. Here, farmers have been growing vegetables and potatoes for generations. The fresh, colorful products packed with flavor are available to buy in the many welcoming farm shops along the country lanes. Why not explore the landscape, the culture and the many farm shops by bicycle? Mjøstrok is a way-marked cycle route that takes you the 234 kilometers around the lake. The cultural experiences are many and the Pedobolke Centric Gallery is among the multitude of highlights. How far you cycle is up to you, and you can stop for the night at a comfortable town hotel or a romantic manor farm. As the day draws to an end, it's time for a well-deserved delicious meal served by hosts taking great pride in their traditional cuisine. Welcome to Mjøsa. Welcome. Thank you. You brought shrimps. Yes. Why is that? Shrimps is one of the favorite in our towns, which uh, lies like pearl on a string, close by the ocean. Shrimps and fish soup. Oh, fish soup of all things. That's yes. so good. And uh, the restaurants have their own secret recipes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've tasted some of it. It's delicious. Yes, it is. The other thing you brought. And this is a Viking. It's our. It is a Viking. History. Of yeah. Yes, they settled down in our area for over a thousand years ago. And we have um, the oldest town in Norway, mm -hmm. as well as the world's end. The world's end? Yes. In Norway as well? Yes. There are a few of those, aren't there? Yeah. Are you going to show us this in the film as well? Yes. We will visit the fisherman. Okay. We will visit the Edvard Munch's summer house, mm -hmm. close by the sea. And in final, we will visit the world's end. Sounds great. Yes, Let's welcome. have a look at it. Yeah. Thank you. What did you bring today? I brought with me some dots. Oh, they're rather colorful dots, aren't they? Yeah, they Why? are. Why? This symbolizes the, all the art galleries in the region. And this you can find in the Henion Star Art Gallery. And we have the Gallery Bit, and we have, of course, the uh, National Gallery and the New Museum Monk. Well, the National Gallery and the Museum Monk are both new, aren't they? They are brand new. I both. can't wait to see them. Mm -hmm. The other item you brought? I brought some spices. Ah. Oh, smells lovely. What are they for? These spices are used in the famous liquor of aquavit. Oh, I love aquavit. Mm, you That's do? so good. <laughs> I've tried it several times. Yes. And uh, you can visit uh, some of the um, distilleries and you have an art distillery tour. And of course, um, this is rather exciting. Are you going to show us this in the film? Yes, we are. Oh, let's have a look at it. Yeah, then. welcome. 
Hello everybody and welcome to Jelle Rosen and Anora. My name is Atle and I am the ambassador for Norwegian Aquavits. And this is the spice room where we keep all the spices that we use in the Aquavit. So welcome to the distillation room. Uh, here we add the potato spirit and the different spices that we use uh, for the different Aquavits. And then of course we do the distillation and the clear Aquavit comes out in the other end. So this is where we do the cask maturation. Behind me here you can see all the oak barrels, each at 500 liters, uh, and uh, most of them has previously been used for sherry production. So we put the aquavit in the barrels for at least six months, but often much longer, and in the end you have the fantastic Norwegian aquavit. And this is the tasting room where we end up, and here you can uh, taste uh, many of our wonderful Norwegian aquavits. And as you know, Destlerivan Elve is one of many Aquavit experiences you can enjoy in the Oslo region. Welcome to us. Hope you'll enjoy it. <laughs> Hello again, Julia. Hello. We've met all the guests and I know you've laid out a magnificent table for us. But you also brought some food. What is this? Yes, this is one of the dishes. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is uh, own smoked ham from our own pigs at the farm. Incredible. Made in an old traditional way. And we have some uh, sausage from elk. Incredible. I can't wait to taste it. Shall we go to the table? Yeah, let's do. Let's do. We've only given you a few examples of what you can experience here in the Oslo region. There is so much more to explore. We welcome you all. <laughs> 